let's start off slow here. Marijuana itself bothers me. That's the first thing. Why is that? Why does it bother you? It bothers me because it's this kind of slow, creeping drug that is perceived as something very, very innocent, but really it does have serious damaging effects on kids, young adults, and going forward with older people. From my own experience with people that have smoked marijuana, I've seen people, and people might say, that's ridiculous, but I've seen people lose their lives in the sense where they became apathetic, they didn't care, they lost interest in life and in their, in their goals. Because of marijuana. Because of marijuana. Of course, these individuals, specifically I have one in mind, that was a brilliant student that didn't come from a uh, quote-unquote silver uh, spoon-fed kind of situation, situation where they were a big, rich family. The family wasn't more dysfunctional than your average dysfunctional family. And this individual got lost and pretty much ruined uh, his, his young life. And right now, I have no idea where this person is. Uh, and it was a long, drawn-out thing. And they became addicted to marijuana, maybe addicted to the feeling of yours, maybe addicted to being lost, sorrow, or whatever it is. So it comes off as something really innocent, but it isn't. And I've seen the first time what it can do to young people. And that's why marijuana bothers me. Um, and I know a lot of young people are going to say, oh, come on, oh, please, oh, brother, it's not a big deal. But it actually is a big deal. And you might not think it now, but later on, it could affect you. It is affecting you right now. And it takes away from achieving your human potential, your full potential as a person. Uh, it holds you back. And life is difficult enough. We don't need things like marijuana to hold someone back and to affect someone negatively. Life is difficult as, as it is. It's difficult enough to achieve success. Marijuana is, is not a good thing. And that's the first thing. At the beginning, that's the first thing that I want to put out that it's not good for you. Marijuana does bother me for those, for those reasons. Yeah, but Vito, if some states now have voted to legalize it, yeah. that means a majority of people believe that marijuana will not harm you. Am I right or not? Yeah, you know, that's what that's what voting is for, I guess. Basically, people go and they, they vote to allow something or to disallow something. And in these two states, uh, at first it was three, it was Washington State, it was Oregon State, and it was, I believe, uh, Colorado. Uh, yeah, Colorado. Now Reuters is reporting this morning that it's only Washington and Colorado that have officially legalized uh, the use of, of cannabis and marijuana in their states. For medicinal purposes or for, it's just legal? Or the average Joe can smoke a joint. Uh, basically not get in trouble. Uh, so, yeah, so beyond wow. medicinal purposes. This is interesting also because this goes against, this goes against uh, the federal law in the states, in the U.S. So potentially what we have going forward is a clash between Obama and the federal the government and these the laws in these states, which is also interesting because most of the people that consume marijuana are young people, and these young people, they represent the demographic that, for most of them, voted Obama into power. So Obama's going to have to, in a sense, eventually probably go against the people that voted for him. That's over matter over marijuana. Over the, over the the story of marijuana. That's something looming in the future that could be an interesting uh, story to uh, to follow and to watch. Uh, people in these states, uh, Washington and Colorado, and Obama, and the, the subject of marijuana. So I think all of that being said, that marijuana, and this could be a good thing, is going to be at the in the forefront of the media and the news, and we're going to get a lot of people on hopefully both sides of the spectrum talking about it, the pros and cons, so that people can get a real understanding of what 
what it really is. I think I think that's that could be a good thing. Maybe it's all for the better that these two states legalized it. This clash takes place. All the facts are presented in front of us. I think that could be a great thing. But yeah. but do you think that for medicinal purposes, it's not a good idea to have legalized marijuana? For med for medicinal, I I have someone in my life. They recently passed away this year. Um, they were using marijuana medicinally for their appetite and basically for pain relief. And in that case, I have absolutely no problem because it is a drug like a codeine or like uh, uh, you know anything else that's a, a pain reliever, a, a oxycontin. It's a pain reliever. It's used for that and other things. For that purpose, abs right, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I have no problem with that at all. At all. So you think the fact that they're, they legalize it in these states, there's going to be conversation that's going to come out now. They're going to really discuss. I really hope so. I really, really hope so. And what do you think will come out of it? Hopefully, people will get the. Hopefully, people will get the, the facts, the knowledge, and the ability to make a more informed decision before that youngster who is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 before they go and they try marijuana, they'll know about it, know what it leads to, and, and say, you know what, this is not for me, and I'm going to try my best to be the best that I can be, and I don't need this as a part of my life, you know, and I, I really hope that's what takes place, you know, so marijuana bothers me. Well, when you think about it, you know, it's three states that voted to legalize it? At first it was three states, and now one of them, Oregon, is out, and it's only one. Basically, it's Washington and Colorado. That's what Reuters is uh, reporting. So that's two states. Two states. Well, that's pretty good considering the you know there's what fifty. Right versus all the, the majority. Yeah, it's a small minority basically of, of states. It's a small minority of states that have uh, legalized marijuana. And at the end of the day, it's going to cause instead of all of the states, instead of all of the states saying no and we forget about marijuana, it continues to be what it is. Now these two states. Are going to have a discussion, right? And now this discussion could take place. I think that's a, that, that's going to be a great thing. I really think that's going to be a great it's thing. going to open up. It's going to open up. People will talk about it, experts, doctors. So in in the future, we'll have a better idea. Yeah. You might it might change your mind that, that maybe marijuana it's should okay. be legalized. Yeah, maybe you never know. But from what I know, from what I've studied, because there's there, worse drugs out there. There's definitely worse drugs out there. But from from what I've heard, from what I've seen. It is a bad thing, and I, I'm not for it. I will not be for it because I've seen it firsthand. All those other things, experienced it, seen the, the, the knowledge behind the like the medical, the, the negative effects of it. So it'll never change my mind. I'll always be someone who's against it uh, for the reason, like I said, of seeing people that I'm close to, emotionally attached to, and seeing them basically drift off and lose all that potential that they once had in their life. You know. Mm -hmm. um, that's the other thing, you know, it's like LS it's like LSD back in let's say your days. The seventies, yeah. In the seventies. At one point it was it was uh, kind of a thing where it's gonna open up your mind, you could even have you can have uh, a revelation, uh, uh, you know, spiritual whatever kind of thing. And maybe for some people that's that's the case. But for the person that they're just not mentally like whatever's happening, you know, in their brain and that person takes the LSD, that takes, that person takes the marijuana. For that person, it can really negatively affect them. Yeah. You know? So I guess studies should be held on the fact that these two states have agreed to legalize it. Maybe the facts will come out, discussion will take place. I know people that support marijuana, they believe, listen, I'd rather smoke a joint than take another drug or get drunk. So, uh, but again, you can, you know, you can smoke marijuana and be legally high and drive a vehicle and you can be, you know, that, that's very dangerous. You should never do that. So, a lot of things. So, uh, marijuana is definitely going to be a topic to be discussed uh, now that they voted in two states to formally legalize the drug. It's interesting to see what happens now in those two states and how the other states are going to follow up and keep an eye on those two states to see what's happening. What's going on. And I think most of the successful people, right, that's one of the people that I look up to, one of my people that I love, respect, uh, is John, uh, John Stewart, The Daily Show. He's got uh, The Daily Show on Comedy Network, John Stewart, 
And he's talked about how in the past he's used marijuana. Right? I don't think from looking at it and hearing it that he uses it anymore. And my point is that these celebrities, these people that we love in the media, whoever, whoever your person is that you look up to, that use the smoke marijuana, I think it's an incredibly small percentage of them that still smoke marijuana. Maybe besides William Nelson, who it's part of his artistic yeah. experience to do it, I don't think many of them still do it. And the reason for that is because he can't function on marijuana. Well, the debate is out there, and we're going to know once uh, everything's legalized in the two states. Discussion will continue on marijuana. What's bothering you? Vito, I'm Frank Cavallaro. We'll talk to you next time from Santo Leonardo da Vinci.